we got to take better care of the ball. It's been exciting. Uh, yeah, always <laughs> is. Thank you, Denny. <laughs> Isn't that just like a coach? Coaches are never happy, so are they? So serious. They're so <laughs> serious about this. I love it. I absolutely love that. What a great guy, though. Two national championships at Louisville. He coached the uh, 1977 World University team to a gold medal. And as you'd expect, he's got his paper rolled up over there. That's, that's typical Denny. That's what you'd expect to see. These guys are taking this series, and I can tell you that Cal appreciates that, obviously. There you get a look at it. It's what you'd expect to see from Denny, right? And Mr. Martin over there coaching him up. Wayne, of course, took Moorhead State to the NCAA tournament. Three-point jump shot won't fall, but oh, that might bring out a gator chop from Al Horford. Al Horford, a little quiet, four points so far in this game. He's a little quiet in the first quarter, so I would look for him to really try to get involved in the second quarter. They're going to need uh, need big point production out of him. Look at these pros now. How about that? How many times have we seen that? What a great tip by Big Cuz. But how many times do we see Tayshawn Prince here? Post up in a low block. He saw the mismatch and took advantage of it. So versatile. He's a guy that's got such size, great hands, long arms, can do a lot of different things. Horford working against Cousins. And now Flores. Had it stolen away. The pros drop it back into a zone. They're able to do that in FIBA basketball. Drop it back into a zone to really try to eliminate those backdoor cuts. Paid off. That's the part of his game that the guys at the next level said he needed to improve, and he has worked on it relentlessly. Pace now has uh, slowed, I, I don't want to say considerably, but these guys had to be jacked up at the start. Now they've settled into a more pro-style game. And there's the shot clock. First time we've heard that. There you see John Wall just creating some space, knocking down that long ball. You saw that you saw that from him at Kentucky, but a little bit. Really, what you what you saw most from him is his quickness and his speed. That's what makes it so fun to see he and Rajon Rondo on the floor at the same time. Two of the quickest point guards in the league on the floor at the same time, right here in Lexington. Cousins tried to spin, but Baez knocked it away. He missed the lane at the other end, but I believe it was Fortuna who got the basket. Check that. It was Jack Michael Martinez. Marcus Cousins showing some range. Ball with a pull up. Rose going with a three guard lineup now. And Cuz starting to huff a little bit, going back and forth. Look at Rondo, see the entire floor. His wait. head is constantly turning. And has to wait on his teammates to get down the floor. Sanchez almost stole it away. And Prince can't finish as he was challenged. Wall over Sosa. Three fouls on Edgar Sosa. Marcus Cousins, take shot Prince, go to the bench. I'd like to see Keith Bogans get on track here a little bit. Had a little problem with his ankle at the end of the season, but yeah. he said today during a shoot around, feeling much better. John Wall goes to the line. Keith 
Bogans, SEC Player of the Year in 2003, SEC Tournament MVP in 2001 and 2003. You might remember that 16-0 um, sweep of the SEC that he was a part of on their way to an SEC championship. Al Horford checks back into the lineup, giving Eric Bledsoe the business over there at the scorer's table. Al's a good guy. Absolutely. Good player for Billy Donovan and company, but a good guy. Absolutely. Five lead changes is now the pros have gone back up by a point. Not all that long ago, they were down by eight. The biggest lead for the pros tonight has been four. And we talked to these guys last week about what this has meant to them to be a part of the 